Welcome back guys. Welcome to Southern National in the Super Late Model uh, C-Class race. Uh, this was such a absolute dumpster fire of caution filled race. Like we're going to walk through this. So we just finished a little while ago. I've thrown up the replay here. We're going to walk through this. There was so much carnage. Uh, luckily, uh, kind of spoiler alert, uh, we were fastest in practice. I like this track and car combo. We've been really good this weekend, won a few races. Um, we qualified first, ran up front, uh, and thank goodness because P1 is the only safe spot on the track. And even at times, it wasn't safe. So we're going to go green here and show you all the what in the hell not to do's of iRacing. So I've been interested to see what, hell, what in the hell happened on lap one. Uh, because there was all kinds of cars. The cars were still crashing when we came around. Some big stuff happened in lap one. So we take off, good start, get out to a lead. And right here already, lap one, we got carnage here, we have carnage here, good lord, here. All right, let's back this up, because this is what cracks me up. Short track racing on iRacing is always nuts, and you can see it right here. So you have about the first six or eight people who are taking the race seriously, uh, they've probably qualified, they're up front, uh, and they're ready to go. Then you have these guys back here who I don't know what they're doing. They're scared shitless. They think being back here is going to make them safe. Uh, this ain't Talladega. If you start back here, that's just the faster we're going to catch you. So I, I've never agreed with this strategy. Um, and if you think you're going to ride in the back on a half-mile track on iRacing and be safe uh, and come through clean, that ain't going to work. That works in rookies. Uh, but once you get through rookies, that strategy, I don't know. I don't agree with that strategy. So anyways, let, let's watch because I'm pretty sure the guys who started back here thinking they're on easy street, uh, unsafe, the shit went, uh, went haywire here. So we get going. I'm going to go forward. So right here, this guy right here is already in trouble. He just, oh, he got, got into contact. First turn, already making contact with this guy. So that's what happens there. Probably got back on the gas too early, floored it, and just, man, 90 degree turn. Just right here. Wham! Right into the wall. Boink! Then, let's see what we got going on down here in this area. Another guy loses it all by himself and just sends chain reactions everywhere. But then what's funny, what, what cracks me up, here's the group who started in the back. They think they're safe. They're going to ride in the back. Watch them all. They should have had plenty of time to react. Here, this guy runs into it, this guy runs into it, and they just stack up. They keep stacking up. Here's almost a reportable offense. This guy's just shoving people. Carnage, lap one. All right, let's jump forward here. We're going to spend a lot of time in blimp view and uh, fast forward, so bear with me. Uh, I want to watch this fire live. We're going to watch the green flag starts. There was a hell of a lot of them. So, craziness there. I got a good jump. Good start. I don't try to play dirty pool when I make green flag starts. Uh, I go either when the, the pit or the pace car drops or the green flag flies. So, this guy missed a shift or something. Goes back to third. Oh. Okay, we got something happening here. This, I wondered what happened here. We went green, technically per the, the pace car, but we, the race never went green. The green net flag never flew. So I stomped the gas, uh, but then that's why this guy probably didn't know what to do. So this guy here, what the hell's going on back here, decides to stop in the middle of the track and leave the race and cause basically the caution to stay out. That could have caused a lot of people up here to crash. Looks like everybody held it together. Good grief. All right, let's go again. Then I like, on the first caution, I didn't talk about it, I missed it, but uh, it was so funny, the idiots were still crashing so bad, I've never actually had to come to a, a full stop and wait for them to finish crashing. So going back green, these guys are already going at it, back of the pack's going at it, oh, right there. 
I'm gonna, we didn't go two or three laps. And we got this guy diving in the pits. What's he doing? Do you mean to do that? So he's going in the pits. Somebody hit the wall there. Oh, must not have been intentional because here he comes back out. It's a cone. Oh, wait a minute. There it was. Oh, my eye. I'm looking in the wrong spot. Check this mess out. Okay. We missed that caution. So right here. This guy was a decoy. We need to be looking over here. So we got a self spin out. And then he just sits here. So I don't know if he's trying to get his own caution. Then as the leaders come around. Oh, yeah, I do. Holy cow, I do remember this. I thought it was later in the race. We're only on lap 14. Look at this. Holy cow, I can't believe I forgot about this already. My life flashed before my eyes. Look at that. I just make it through the second place guy. Can you imagine how furious he is right now? Bam! Gets taken out. Good grief. Oh yeah, check that out. Right here. I come around the corner. And... About four inches from having my day ruined. Good night. The carnage continues. Let's jump back to blimp. Good grief. This track was nuts. I, I'm surprised there weren't too many people yelling at each other on the communications or anything. Normally they get pretty nasty. Here we go green again. Kind of stacked up. This guy's laying back. The guy behind me wanted to eat my bumper. Three wide. Getting a little loose there. Three wide. Three wide. Yep. It just didn't pay off. Looks like these guys make contact. Goes down to block this guy and that guy. It just everybody fighting for the same spot. So another caution. Good grief. I've never had to do so many restarts in my life. On short track racing, I'm always scared going to turn one. Tracks like this where you've just been up front all day, they're just going to eat your lunch. They're going to come in and send it. That guy got a bad start. Immediately. Wham! Let's take a look, full look at it here. Pacing okay. Oh, yeah. This guy was uh, pacing me a little aggressive. So I checked up a little bit. Took off in the restart zone. He just missed it. Gets a bump. Takes the next guy out. And everybody starts stacking up. Nobody knows where the brake pedal's at. It's amazing. Another caution. Good grief. Keep moving here. Alright, going back green. And already there's something going on. See, half of this stuff, when you're up front, you don't know what's going on. You go green, and then all of a sudden the cautions immediately back out, and you don't know why. And I think I recall this if we turn... Uh, I don't want other strangers' names turn, uh, popping up, so I have the communications off, but I do remember somebody yelling about a three-wide start. So it looked like this guy blinked, and this guy probably thought he disappeared. Maybe he doesn't see him. You never take somebody's spot if that happens. You just stay where you're at. So he tries to pass him. They start hitting. They probably realize what they've done. Something's going on. So this guy decides to pull up top and park. I don't know what's going on there. So that caused mayhem, but we get started. See how long we last. We 
we never had more than about five laps all race till the end. We went about ten laps was the biggest stretch we went and just absolutely crazy. These guys back here, nobody's ever stable. He's going in the pits again. This is a 70 lap race. Uh, the way they set this up, you don't get tires. So he just must be giving up. Oh, here we go. I knew it wouldn't take that long. So there's another one. Did he have help? Something happened here. This guy must have hit the wall. Gee, he slows down. This guy comes in like a rocket. Comes in, nose dives him, get in the door, hit the apron, self spin. Nobody has patience on short tracks. Which cracks me up. I guess if you're up here and you've been clean the whole race, uh, it makes sense to race hard. But you've been in 17 wrecks, and people just keep on pushing it. This cracked me up because when we came by here, we could see the smoke, but we didn't know what was going on. This guy's had enough. He's just in here doing donuts. Says hell with it. F it, I'm out. Let's celebrate. His engine still runs. That's enough to be excited about, I guess. This guy's saying F it. But if, if you've been wrecked 17 times, I don't know why these guys are still so impatient. Ride around, get a few clean laps, and get the hell out of here. And they'll just keep beating on each other. And then people wonder why they lose I rating and TT rating so freaking fast. Another restart. They were riding me hard. And right there, this is what I'm always worried about. Turn one. So I get off to a good start. He is on me. I think he even bumped me getting off there. Oh yeah. A little bump before the green flag. And then... Doop! No patience. Around he goes. For the 47th caution of the night. Oh, what was this? Are they crashing under caution? Oh, that was just the remainder of the the carnage there from the bird's eye view. Bump! I didn't see the green car there get... Like, this guy just backs into him. Like, what the hell? <laughs> People are nuts in this server tonight. Well, let's go back to fast forward here, get through some more caution laps. Around and round we go. When we stop, nobody knows. Alright, green flag start. It's funny because these guys, uh, the last couple restarts, it's like these guys have been beat to hell. And, and for their credit, they probably started in the back. They're up here like, hell yeah, I'm in second place. So it's funny. And that's, I was saying earlier, I try to be really fair on restarts. But I don't know why. It's just me. Especially in... I was going to cover. i seen some guys. I don't know if I if I covered it yet. Um, like here, you're supposed to be too wide. But if you... When we're still supposed to be pacing too wide, and you're up here aggressively pacing me too wide, and we're not supposed to be, uh, that's a... You shouldn't do that. There's multiple reasons why. Um, lappers coming around the outside for Lucky Dog just smash into you. All kinds of shit. I don't know you're there. Um, you're not supposed to be there. Uh, all kinds of reasons. So if you do that to me, and just like this, we're going down the back stretch, and you're just creeping forward, creeping forward, creeping forward, staying in front of me, then typically when I get to about here, I'll back out of the gas a little bit and let you roll up in front of me, because you're asking for it at that point. You should be kind of behind my doghouse right there, looking kind of at my front wheel, waiting for it to go. So if you're doing this, this is where I won't play dirty pool. I'm not going to brake check the guy behind me. But I'll crack off the, the throttle just a little bit, let you coast forward six inches, and then you get nervous because you're like, oh, shit, I'm going to pass the leader. And so he has to check up, and then when I'm in the restart zone, I stomp it. So just something to watch for if you're trying to get better starts. If you're on the outside, get in a position to stare at that guy's, and there they go. Uh, stare at that guy's front wheel. When it takes off, you take off. So, once again, first lap... Was it fourth, fifth place guy? Just 
I don't know what was going on here. I mean, it's a restart. Okay, I guess you were clear. But, I mean, here, I guess if I was this guy, it looks like you're sure as hell going to take kind of the upper third, maybe the second line. This guy's here. Clearly they're following. But I get it. At this point, you're clear. But he just dump, dumps down in front of him. Right there. This guy holds his line. So really, I would call that. I mean, it's a racing incident, but that's that dingbat's fault. Round he goes. Punts it into the wall. And out comes the pace car again. It said, I don't know why, and I haven't seen it yet, I led 69 to 70 laps. I don't know who snuck in a lap under caution on me. Uh, I should have technically led all 70, but it's hilarious. Because these are lappers when they're up here in front of me. And see, this right here is why you never... Like this guy, really, you want to hang low. So you have your lucky dog coming around. This guy's not paying attention up high, and you'll just get smacked best practice is to stay the hell out of the way round and round we go all right here we go again I see that guy did a pretty good t good job that time he was a little less aggressive here he learned his lesson so he's kind of staring at that front wheel creeps up on me did a good job it's a good start the leaders always gonna beat you No patience there, but I mean we're at lap 53, 20 to go. They're gonna start getting impatient. Oh, already. Another one right here. So looks like this guy eats the wall, bounces off, and takes them both into the outer fence. Collect anybody else? Nope. He keeps going. Here we go again. Oh, he about flipped over. <laughs> Dumbass. Whoop. That has sucked. Alright. Yeah, this, this is kind of what I'm talking about. The two by file. So we're supposed to be single file here for another couple laps. And this guy's constantly next to me. You're right here. Lucky dog going about on the outside. You don't get a notification. If this guy doesn't tell you he's coming, they will just scream past you. Uh, so that, I don't know, it's a pet peeve. Maybe some people will call me stupid. That drives me nuts. It's like this guy's just telling me, hey, I'm here, dude. I'm going to race you hard. Like, I want the lead. Like, okay. But this, they're all just hanging. It's, it's the 47th caution. Just chill. Anyways, back up to speed. Here we go again. Let's see how long we last. Oh, we got a guy coming into the pits off of the restart. A bump. Still bumping. Oh, a retaliation shot there, I think. Let's watch that again. They're just beating the shit out of each other. Watch the green car here. They connect. Oh, he's pissed about it. That's funny. It's not really this dude's fault. Hits him again. Hits him again. Jesus. Frickin' lappers, man. We had so much of this. I don't even know why this guy went in the pits. Went in the pits. I, I, this one pissed me off. I yelled at this guy. I don't know if this was his mission. He's not speeding. Just drives through. So here comes me, the rest of the front pack. Pulls up in turn two and just parks it right in the middle of the track. Ridiculous, man. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, cockpit. Yeah, look at this shit. He's not supposed to be there, so I don't know he's coming. I don't see him in the pits. I don't see him till about there. And I'm figuring he's still going to be on the apron. Nope. Maybe the inside. Nope. Idiot. Now he's got me scared. Man, he is right there on my side. Waiting for him to take me out. Right there. 
crazy. I don't think there's fast repairs in this series, but as much as these guys beat and bang to be running, oh, what did this guy happen? There might have been maybe one fast repair, I don't know. Like a self spin. Oh, he really dove bomb. He went all the way to the apron. That ain't gonna work for you. You're lucky that guy didn't give you a shot. Hit took out the cone. Almost hit the barrels. Uh, what's this? Do? I wish you could just click on a car. Uh, I go. Oh, I'm on the wrong freaking pit lane. <laughs> I, you can't see all three of my monitors. He's way over here to the left. Let me check the other pit lane. Let's check this one. Dummy me. There it is. Good grief. Alright, sorry. I'll probably edit that out. Uh, I was lost. Getting find my guy. Anyways, I want to see how close this guy gets to pit wall. He eats that cone. Woo! That's funny. Let's see what he's going to do. He'll probably pull back up in front of everybody. Yep, here he comes. Look, never stop. Screw it. Back on the track we go. Good grief. Don't do that. At least he stayed low. But look, just screwed that guy. I mean, I've been faster than these guys all race, so his chances were probably not that great to catch me. Uh, but that guy right there just screwed the second place contender from even having a chance. We're on lap 64. I think it goes green from here. Pretty sure these idiots, they keep beating and banging on each other. Right there, they got into each other. Uh, that was the last caution, though. We'll speed it up a little bit here. Lap 66. So I mean, you know, I just, especially after that lapper got in his way, race over. Uh, I was not taking any chances. I didn't want to catch these guys. Uh, and I did, okay, yeah, he disappeared. I didn't see that one. So here we are, like two laps to go, and there's another damn guy sitting down here. At least he exited out. And the end was kind of uneventful. And there it would be the end. Good grief. Uh, I love this track, uh, whether it be an Arca or a uh, late model, super late model. It's a really good track. It's really smooth. It's not bumpy. Um, the iRacing setup for the super late model right now is really good for my racing on the fixed series. Uh, it, it's tight. It has a lot of traction. Uh, so if you haven't done it, I would definitely give it a try. Um, but great racing, but this one was just an absolute dumpster fire. Um, I won the race, but I mean, honestly, it's because I was in the right spot at the right time. Um, thankfully, I've been really fast at this track. But I just wanted to go through this one live with you guys because that was an absolute shit show. So if you made it through that dumpster fire, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you out on the track.